Lindsay at Close Call Sports, and we kind of just did a video on this. You asked us to do it, we'll do it again, but I'll direct you to our May 12th video about player and umpire collisions. It's so much more in depth. It talks about the rules, etc. Okay, so Henderson State, Northeastern State, NC2A postseason in a perfect UEFL curse fashion. It's only fitting that a college game has a play, ends the game involving such a collision barely a week or two after we did our video. Coming into second base, sliding and safe. And so, no, he caught him out, are you kidding me? The umpire got in Blaze Brothers' way. That's the way the ball game ends. This is a joke, this is a joke. They're gonna get together and talk about it. You can't have the game end The way. umpire ran into Blaze Brothers trying to get to second on a no doubt double. That's the go, that's the tying run at second base. How was he out? Glad you asked. We searched for contact and collision and things like that in the NC2A rulebook and found 62 results none of which pertain to the umpire. The umpire is considered part of the field, other than in two specific cases, again, see the other video, involving pitched and batted balls on the infield. But if a runner collides with an umpire at any time, the ball is alive and in play. There is no rule that allows an umpire to award bases to nullify the act or place runners where they would have ended up if the collision didn't happen because it's not interference, it's not obstruction. The umpire is considered part of the play. As the umpire, you do your best to avoid participants. What happened here, it looks like the umpire got caught on autopilot. The batter runner was fast, perhaps too fast for the up, and that's really unfortunate. The umpire wasn't, so... It's a collision course because they weren't looking. But once it happens, other than feeling terrible, there's nothing you can do. Oh, you could call the runner safe at second, assuming that they were actually safe at second. Are you kidding me? I don't know. I would need another angle for that. But it's a really terrible way to end it. I can't say anything to make anyone feel better, so I just leave. They're going to get together and talk about it. There's really nothing to discuss other than how to get out of there safely. The team is hurt. You can't do anything about it. It's too late. Just don't do it again. At least conferencing gets the coach away and buys a little bit of time, I guess? Obviously, the ejection is for throwing the hat in disgust. Totally understand it, of course. I don't like the crew staying on the field here. It's obvious what the call is. It's obvious that there was an accident. People driving cars have bad accidents like all the time. It doesn't mean you can go back and change that. No matter what you say to the coach, it's not going to get better. The game's over. Just try not to do it again next time. That's all. Blaze hits a bases clearing double. And then he's thrown out at second base because he was on the ground. The first base umpire ran into him. And that's the way the historic season ends for NSU with the best hitter in the conference, in the region, at the plate, and Blaze Brothers supposed to be safe at second base. That's the way the season ends. There's got to be something that can be done about this. There kind of is in a roundabout way. You can actually contact the rules committee and ask them to add a rule that would change this somehow. I don't know how you would, but try it. Maybe it'll work. It probably won't. There has to be an interference by the umpire. To review, no call is the correct call, but being rules correct is going to do little to assuage a coach who just lost a run or an out or the game. If this happens earlier in the game, you explain the rule once, allow them to vent if you'd like because it's a really unfortunate situation here where no one wins except the other team, and then at some point move on. And if the coach doesn't want to, you eject and then you move on and keep playing. But if this is the end of the game like it is here, your game management skill isn't as vital in the sense that you're done. Explain once and get off the field. You will not make anything better by sticking around. Situational awareness, avoidance, and try not to run into people. Visit us online at closecallsports.com, Twitter and Facebook, and we'll see you on the site. That's the go, that's the tying run at second base. How was he out?